Ah, uh, it's locking me up again. I'm going to keep it busy. Clear hot. Four. I'm gonna go go. Fox 3. My bandit is breaking uh, right. Splash! Alright everyone, uh, welcome to uh, the third mission of uh, the second Lebanon war campaign. <coughs> this is uh, Operation uh, David's Sling. The date is 25th of August 2006 and uh, it's uh, 0430 in the morning. The situation is simply that uh, Israel has executed a large-scale military operation inside of Lebanon after some Israeli soldiers was kidnapped by uh, Hezbollah on July 12th and uh, after a month uh, a ceasefire was declared but uh, not respected and uh, Syria, Jordan and Egypt uh, joined the war on uh, the Leb Lebanese side on the 16th of uh, uh, July and uh, Israel is now uh, having uh, to wage a full-scale war on uh, all fronts and uh, uh, are in a fight for their life, sort of speak. Israel have stated that uh, they uh, uh, they uh, support Israel to the fullest, but uh, because of their involvement in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, they cannot uh, respond with a full-fledged uh, invasion of uh, neither countries. And uh, moving forward uh, to the situation as it is of today, Israel had uh, relative uh, good success so far in the war, war that has lasted uh, uh, now f uh, officially for uh, 10 days. They have managed to uh, push uh, Syria back from the Golan Heights and uh, managed to push uh, somewhat uh, into Jordan as well. And in the um, last mission after uh, it was voted on uh, on Discord, uh, we shifted our focus a little bit uh, towards Lebanon and uh, uh, the result of that has been sort of a two-sided sword. Uh, the Syrian uh, front have uh, somewhat reached a stalemate and uh, either side is uh, not progressing. We uh, managed to capture Rayak uh, and uh, cutting the head of the Lebanese army uh, effectively and uh, right now we only have to deal with uh, uh, militias for the most part and uh, uh, parts of the Lebanese army that uh, uh, st is still in the fight. Part of the things we discovered uh, after uh, managed to take over the Lebanese uh, army headquarter was that Syria is uh, reinforcing quite heavily from uh, the north uh, with mostly from the help of uh, Russia and Turkey. US and Europe, uh, while their army officially cannot uh, uh, involve themselves fully to the conflict, they are currently mobilizing volunteers so far, uh, the total number is uh, around 40,000 and they are being uh, shift, uh, shipped into Israel as we speak and will be ready for combat in the next uh, few weeks. And reinforcements are inbound for uh, Israel in form of uh, material in terms of airplanes and uh, ground material in sort of tanks, artillery, etc. But moving on to the... Go oh, uh, this map right here shows uh, what the current front line uh, looks like. We, as I said, managed to take over back the Golan Heights and push uh, somewhat into Syria and a little bit into uh, into Jordan. And uh, after uh, uh, a good effort from uh, Apache flight in the last mission, we managed also to take the Lebanese town of uh, Bent Jebal. And we also managed to capture Rayak. And this shows the situation right now. The airfield is being held by roughly 200 uh, uh, Israeli f uh, troops and uh, they are constantly being uh, mortared and uh, being harassed by uh, militias that have uh, surrounded the airfield uh, and our shot is shooting at them with mortars from the hillsides and uh, they are slowly but surely trying to fight their way through Rayak city and try to secure that one but it will take a lot of uh, forces to do that. As of now, the only way of reinforcing them in, is via air. So uh, um, the Israeli uh, Air Force is trying to do that via para dropping it from C-130s, but that's quite unsuccessful. So uh, they're relying mostly on helicopters. And uh, that will be part of the mission of Apache flight today. 
So the goal of today's operation is to take out uh, uh, the supply hubs uh, at the Syrian-Turkish border that is uh, uh, currently be being used uh, as the main hubs for uh, transporting uh, supplies from uh, Turkey and Russia towards Syria and uh, then towards uh, Jordan and uh, the Lebanese militias. And the uh, Apache flight will escort uh, a flight of UH-60s inbound with supplies for RIAC. So, flights, weapons and targets. Uh, we saw one uh, Viper and Springfield will fly together and we will attack uh, targets that is uh, more or less um, uh, in the same area. Weasel 1 will uh, be tasked with taking out an SA-11. They will carry three bags, two harms, two times AIM-9Ms, two times uh, AIM-9120Bs and a harm pod. Viper Flight uh, will uh, bomb uh, one of the supply hubs and will carry three bags, two times Mark 83s. Uh, the correct one is Mark 84, so I wrote this wrong. Two times uh, AIM-9Ms, four times 120Bs. And the target will, as I said, be a supply hub. Springfield flight will carry also uh, 12 bags, uh, 12 Mark 82s, 2 times AIM uh, 9Ms, 2 times AIM uh, 120s. And the tar your target is uh, a supply hub, but that one is uh, on the Turkish side of the border. Because we managed to take the Lebanese army headquarter uh, mostly intact, we found a lot of evidence that uh, Turkey is uh, pretty involved in uh, the conflict on uh, the Syrian side. So uh, we have uh, quite good reason to perform this attack even though Turkey is not officially part of the conflict yet. So Apache flight, uh, your task tasked with uh, escorting Chevy flight UH-60s from Rosh Paina to Rayak and uh, you will take out surrounding militia units once you arrive uh, at the airfield, do a little uh, free hunting in the area. Uh, this is your uh, flight plan. It's quite simple. We will take off from uh, Rosh Pina and uh, uh, simply follow uh, uh, Chevy flight uh, through the valley to watch uh, Ryak and uh, Waypoint 5 is uh, your home base. And uh, just a little bit how you will conduct this. Uh, in the F10 menu you have uh, uh, let's start this one again. Uh, the UH-60s will take off and uh, hover the airfield and, on, and at the moment you are ready uh, from the F-10 menu, to, uh, menu you can order them to continue and they will start flying uh, north. Uh, known threats, uh, you will most likely con um, see small arms fires from uh, infantry on the ground, maybe even manpads, those are uh, reported in the area and will be your main threat. And the high-tech defenses like uh, uh, SA-3s and such is very, very unlikely because the Lebanese army is pretty much out of them by now. But uh, don't fly too high because you're still in range of the Syrian air defenses. Uh, any questions? No, as I said, uh, in order to uh, order Chevy flight to continue, you just uh, use your F-10 menu. Uh, weasel flight, that is me and the uh, farmer, uh, or fast flying bird, I mean. Uh, we will take out uh, the SA-11 at Minaka. This is uh, the flight plan for Weasel. This is pretty much the same one for Springfield and uh, Viper as well. It is a long flight, uh, roughly 750 nautical miles. Because of uh, our shifted focus in the last mission, uh, the Syrians had time to uh, pretty much plug all the holes in their air defenses uh, uh, east of uh, the Golan Heights and it's at this point practically impregnable. So uh, we need to fly around it and our intel has managed to find um, uh, the best path uh, through the Syrian air defenses to get to our target uh, undetected and uh, escape as quickly as possible. So that's the reason for the choose of uh, of the route. Uh, Viper flight, you have uh, pretty uh, you have, as I said, pretty much the same route, and you will bomb the supply hub south of the border. Uh, you will do a pop up attack and do CCIP bomb bombing with uh, two times Mark eighty fours. It's a relatively small target, so um, 
a couple of uh, well-placed shots uh, will do the trick. Ah, I did something wrong again there. This is a picture of your target. You will come in from this direction right here, if you see the mouse. And uh, you will take out this target. The uh, target is rough uh, if you uh, program a release between the bombs of uh, roughly 250 to 300 uh, feet, you should be able to get a good spread of this. The containers is also a valid target, so uh, and the trucks and the tanks here are not the main targets, pretty much everything here is uh, is a target. Springfield flight, you will uh, bomb the, uh, uh, the border cr crossing on the Turkish side, or the the hub right there. It's a much more larger target. There is new carry more bombs. Just as Viper Flight, you will uh, conduct a CCIP bombing, doing a pop-up attack. Again, to uh, uh, not uh, give the SAM sites uh, time to target you. Again, you have pretty much the same uh, flight route. The only thing is differentiating the targets. Here are your targets. Uh, Right here we can see a lot of uh, trucks, and here we can see a lot of uh, artillery pieces, but again, uh, our intel suggests that a lot of these containers uh, contains ammunition and spare parts and uh, new equipment for the Syrian and uh, Jordanian army. So pretty much everything you see here is uh, marked as a valid target. Put a good spread on your bomb, something like uh, 500 to 1000 feet, and. 12 times Mark 82s uh, should do the trick here. It's a large target you cannot miss, probably. All right, so here we see a, a target uh, for all the flights. As you can see, they are pretty close to each other. Weasel flight, uh, that's me and Farmer. We will uh, fly ahead of uh, Viper and Springfield flight. Uh, let's just go back a little bit there. There we go. Once we reach waypoint 7, we will all fence in and uh, uh, prepare. And waypoint 9 is the target for all for Springfield, Viper and Weasel flight. So it's pretty simple in that regard. What is the distance between the supply hubs? Uh, it's less than uh, 2 nautical miles. So okay. it's very, very close. You will see each other. So, But uh, what I thought uh, when planning this, as uh, when we reach waypoint uh, Seven, we will uh, spread out a little bit. Weasel flight will go ahead and uh, do a pop-up uh, attack on the SA-11. And uh, we will, uh, so you guys don't get targeted by the SA-11 once you guys arrive. If you keep a distance of uh, like five to 10 miles, I think that will be su sufficient. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, what else? Oh, and I also set, uh, a roughly speed that we will fly in between 350 and 400 uh, knots and that is because uh, we need to conserve fuel and can't go uh, fast <laughs> simply yeah uh, just as i said we will fly under the radar stay uh, under uh, 10,000 uh, i mean 1000 feet uh, roughly 500 um, for the most part speed will be 350 to 400 and total route is uh, roughly 750 nautical miles. Um, for the F-16s, the fuel flow will stay uh, at about 5,500 and 7,000 pounds, uh, pounds. And approximately flight, uh, flight time in total is uh, two and a half hours. Yeah, at waypoint 10, by the way, will also be our uh, rendezvous point, where we will try to uh, fly together and uh, the Syrians will most likely uh, react with uh, try to scramble some fighters to intercept us uh, on our way back. And unfortunately, don't, we did not have enough pilots to scramble to fly a cap uh, over the sea to intercept them. So uh, this will be a good old fashioned uh, pump and dump. Get, uh, get in and get out. Stay there for a good time, not for a long time. Moving on to comms, uh, pretty much the same one as last time, just uh, disregard Weasel 2. Uh, Weasel 1 internal frequency will be 126.5. Uh, Springfield flight uh, will be 130.0, Apache 131.5 and common frequency will be 305.0 and that's the same frequency as Dark Star. We will mostly, we, uh, Springfield, uh, Viper and Weasel, we will most likely lose uh, contact with uh, Dark Star when we're flying in low altitude over Syria. So 
we will for the most part be on our own. And uh, Ramat David's uh, Tachyon is 8 for uh, X-ray. The matter uh, time is uh, when you take off is uh, 0 for 30, temperature is 26 degrees Celsius, QNH uh, 299 or 5. Uh, cloud cover is few at 8000, scattered at 23. The wind conditions is uh, really nice, uh, 3 knots at uh, uh, 200, 6 knots uh, 210 at 6000 feet and uh, 26 knots at uh, uh, 19,000, um, I mean 190 at 26,000 feet. Uh, any other questions? Nope. All right. Viper flight holding short runway two seven standing by for visa flight. Copy that. Visa flight uh, taxiing soon. Stop and crash. Visa one two ready taxi. Copy. Viper flight, this is Weasel 1-1. Uh, have you double checked your uh, NVGs? NVGs? NVGs, yeah. Night vision goggles. Aper. Copy. Weasel uh, flight is taxiing towards runway 2 south. Springfield 1-1, one one, taxiing to runway. Copy that, Springfield. Weasel flight uh, lining up on uh, runway 27. Lele. Okay, Springfield, Viper and Weasel flight. This is Weasel 1-1. One, one. Uh, I think we're going to do a... Um, uh, let's do a finger 4 formation. Uh, I want... Uh, uh, Weasel 1-2 on my right and uh, Viper Flight on my left and uh, Springfield Flight can uh, go in the middle, in the back. This is Weasel 1-1 one, one, uh, taking off, spooling. Weasel 1-2, spooling up, release on 3-1. Two, three. Like wiper on spooling. Springfield, one one spooling up. We had an accident. What's the problem? Uh, uh, let's just not talk about it, guys. <laughs> Was it of the fatal kind? I might have lost my wing. Uh, sounds kind of bad. Uh, Aperm Wiper 1 1 will break off and stay here and uh, monitor the situation. Copy. <laughs> Be aware of weak turbulence, guys! <laughs> Copy! <laughs> yeah, I should have advised on that. Well, that was an interesting takeoff, so to speak. Okay, we still want to turning to waypoint 2 now. Ah, do I have the Oh yeah, I missed your shield orientation. Yeah, it gets no unnerving chances. So, so one one, I'm descending uh, a little bit. Here.
with uh, Viper 2 uh, eventually airborne. Copy that, uh, Viper. Sure, we just passed uh, Waypoint 1, heading for 2 now. Viper flight uh, status. Viper's in trail, about 30 miles behind. Copy. Viper flight, uh, what is your fuel flow? Uh, Viper is at uh, 6,000 pounds per Copy. This is Weasel on one, my center tank is empty, I'm going to uh, jets. Weasel 2, this is Nagy. Jets. Three thousand pounds in uh, wing tanks, so should be good. Our uh, two on two and a half. Yeah, scratch that. Uh, two point uh, four is mine. Yep, 2.4. Missile 1-1 one, one, turning towards waypoint 3. Approaching the coast, turning off autopilots. Copy two following uh, point five miles behind. Copy. Weasel one one is uh, fair try. Viper well, flight passing the point two proceeding to three. Copy, uh, Viper. Ja, det kan hende de er vel nedvold til høyre nå, er det ikke det? Jo. Her er speedcheck. Uh, we saw one, one, uh, three, six, zero. Litt enklere å fly uh, over land enn over vann, altså. <laughs> ja, jeg ser en dritt. Det er jo så mye bedre. Uh, where in fuel state? Fuel state... Uh, uh, 11,000. Yeah, 10.8, so that's uh, ganske great. I thought I had used a little more than that, but that's really OK. That's it. We'll pass it soon, we'll wait for the 3 also. Hey, firm. Going down into the valley. Apache flight, this is uh, uh, Weasel 1 1, do you copy? This is Weasel 1 1, uh, passing waypoint 3, continuing to fall. Okay, all units, uh, we lost uh, Weasel 1-2, he Nei, crashed. Nei, he's on uh, Viper flight, uh, do you copy? Hey, firm. Good. What's your status? Or what's your position? Uh, we are uh, trailing about 20 miles behind. Copy. And Springfield flight, have you heard from them? Negative. Copy. Nei, for faen han suger, men jeg burde egentlig legge meg, så det er kanskje egentlig greit. Ah, ok. Det var egentlig nesten litt for lang vision, egentlig. <laughs> Ikke sant? Flight passing 
Copy Viper flights. Hi. Viper flight uh, passing waypoint five, turning for six. In the road. We are now at the uh, longest stretch of the journey, uh, 125 uh, miles uh, to waypoint 6. So, from Viper, do you know the status of Springfield? This is Swiss of Light, uh, no idea, I haven't heard them on the comms for a long time. I know that uh, one, one of the Springfield flights uh, crashed on takeoff. That makes two. Okay, both of them? <laughs> uh, no, Viper 2 also had a little mishap on takeoff. Copy. But both of you are up now? A firm, we are trailing you about uh, 5 to 10 miles. Copy. Better pray to uh, Odin, God, Allah and uh, the Tooth Fairy that uh, I succeed. <laughs> No pressure. No pressure. Viper flight, what is your fuel status, by the way? Radio 5, and Viper 1-2. Uh, uh, Viper flight, what is your fuel state? State 9.1, that's the lowest. Copy. Uh, this is Whistle, I'm at 9. Uh, and he's right, right, uh, from Viper for strategic purposes. purposes. Well. What do you want us to do if the SA-11 is not knocked out? Uh, we'll take that later. I will uh, do my very best uh, to take that down. Uh, even if it's cost me my life, so... Uh, Roger, uh, if, uh, if the S11 remains, do you want us to call off the attack? Uh, do that on your own discretion. Out of, uh, Weasel flight uh, uh, passing by point 6, uh, turning for 7. Now it's just a few medium circles and a big one. Viper flight uh, uh, increased distance uh, distance from me, so uh, we have some spacing. Weasel flight uh, passing, waypoint 7, turning for 8. Viper flight, this is uh, weasel flight. Uh, I was supposed to jettison my uh, wing tanks, but I accidentally dropped one of my arms as well, so I only have one left. Uh, Raj! <laughs> we'll be fine. Turning for waypoint uh, 9. Popping up. I'm getting engaged, I'm going to regress and uh, make another go at it. What better you will stay outside the uh, SAR for now. Copy.
We still want on the Magna. Viper flight, uh, the SAM site is silent, uh, you can go ahead. Viper, roger. Ah, uh, it's locking me up again. I'm going to keep it busy. Viper flight, I'm uh, trying to uh, keep it busy. Yeah, Viper well, RG, we're passing 8.7 now and uh, we're proceeding inbound. Copy. Flight's being spiked by SA-11, we are pushing. Copy. I'm trying to drain it for, for missiles. Viper flux inside the SCR. Copy. I can see you on uh, data link. Viper flux being spiked. We're pushing for the pop up. Copy.
Okay, Viper Flights has a launch, we are vacating. Yeah, I'm getting fired at. If you're getting fired at, uh, you regress. Viper Flight, this uh, Viper 1 is cold. Copy. You should be out of missiles soon, they have launched a lot. Ah, uh, Viper 1 2 is still pushing. Pushing back in. Come on, run out of missiles already. God damn, I can see the target. What the one one is uh, inbound? Red. I'm almost over your target. They are locking me and not firing yet. I can see smoke, they... Okay, I see a missile out. It's not shooting at me, I think. I put you evading. Copy. Triple A fire. Oh, somebody got hit. Viper 1 2 Copy Counter Pull up Pull up Pull up Counter Go for me, go for me. Counter. SA5 is... Uh, that's a direct hit. Okay, let's regress. An SA-5 is actually locking me. <laughs> also got a Madai. Det går bra, jeg har prøvd å få radar kontakt med, nei radio kontakt med dere, men jeg har ikke fått uh, no luck. Jeg har ikke hørt det, det er vanskelig. Vi... Viper 1 må stå ut, så det er SA-11 og CR for nå, og så rejoin på deg. Det er SA-11 som ikke er fyring, men jeg har ikke fått lukket opp av en SA-5. Så jeg tror vi har klart å drene det SA-11, egentlig. Ja, det er bra. Jeg er til Waypoint uh, 10 nå. Springfield flight, uh, come check. Uh, again, I can hear you keying, but I can't hear anything. Oh, I got Springfield uh, loud and clear. Okay, copy. What did you say? Uh, he just said loud and clear. Uh, I can relay anything. Okay, just uh, asking him of uh, his situation. Okay, Springfield status. He's approaching waypoint 42 miles out. Copy. Copy. Calm problems, the most typical uh, army thing ever, or military thing ever. Uh, Roger Springfield, um, Visa 1 Springfield can hear you just fine, then I can relay information from him if you don't hear. Copy. Uh, 
and Viper 1 is saddle left. Copy. You can change uh, interflight frequency to 126.5, I think. 1265. Viper 1 checking in 1265. Loud and clear. And the Viper 1, I have two waypoints, so correction, two targets, 12 o'clock, 20 miles. Yeah, copy that. I see something on radar as well, uh, in front of us. I'm going to lock up the guy on the left front, you can go for the back one. Huh. Uh, Roger, this one I see on the left is the one in the, beha in the back. Okay, I uh, full STT on him. Okay, I have the one in the back. Control, clear, hold. Let's try, let's try to uh, ID them, I don't know what it is. Ah, MiG-21. Spike, MiG-21. Control, clear, hold. Clear, hold. Fort. I'm gonna go, go. Fox 3. My bandit is breaking uh, right. Splash. Roger. I'm getting locked up by the MiG-21. I'm gonna get him. Go, get him, get him. Ah, oh, Fox 2. It's a miss! Oh, never mind, Splash! Take... Whew. Okay, I'm getting spiked by an SA2 going low again. Confirm you want us to go for waypoint? Yeah, continue to waypoint. Right. Let's rejoin. And uh, Weasel 1 2, you're back with us as you can see. Left 2. Copy. Copy. Go ahead. I come running up the line. Copy. And confirm uh, you are number two. Uh, yeah, number two. I think that's correct. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, Piper, do you still have your uh, fuel tanks connected? Negative. Ah, that's uh, weasel. Okay. Ah. Uh. Weasel 1-1, one, one, fuel state 2-7. Hello, Lita. Since the valley, Okay. 
Tie on board, stop it. Speed check. Stora bränder mig, jag får inte checka. Jag ser ner där bara på... Det är cirka 200 så är det så. Yep, det kan bli 200. Hej för mig. Det var flitt langt bak det här, men... La meg du høyre eller venstre? Venstre. Nå lander jeg venstre, så lander høyre du. Ok. Tail strike. 